So last time I uh, talked about classifying statements or whatever, um, or I'm sorry, I talked, I kind of hinted about it, but as we do these truth tables, we can take something like, if you have a statement like a um, horseshoe B, uh, well, let's go with something more complex. Sorry, let me, let me do that again. So suppose you had a statement like, um, you know, uh, tilde A wedge B, okay? Just something real, I mean, this isn't really complex. You can then come along, you say two to the power of N is two to the power of two, which is four. So you have T, T, F, F, and T, F, T, F. And then you come back here and you negate the tilde first, cross that off, then you know that's true, false, true, true. Circle this, and we would call this a contingent uh, or conden contingent statement or conditional statement. And basically, it, it, we use the word contingent. It means that you know the truth function is contingent upon the truth value of the parts. But what we learn is we also learn there are certain statements that are just always true. And examples of this might be, um, well, if you had something like P horseshoe Q uh, parentheses wedge Q horseshoe P. Now, I think I'm right about this. I might need, I might be wrong. But if you do this, you need four lines. We'll just always do four because otherwise I don't wanna do any with eight just because it takes too much time for a video. Uh, and so we'll go with true, false, true, false. Q was true, false, true, false. You have to make sure they match. And P was true, true, false, false. So you make sure they match. And then we're gonna start with the stuff in parentheses. So this is gonna be true, false. The only time it's false is if the antecedent's true and the consequence false. So that's true and that's true. Same thing right here. The only time it's false is there because the antecedent's true and the consequence false. So the other ones are all true. So we'll just cross these off so we're not looking at them by accident. And then true wedge true is true, false wedge true is true because if one of them is true, the whole thing is true. And there you go. And what you see is you see that on every single line that everyone is true, always true. And so we use a little word called tautologous, which is like basically saying a statement that is always true. And the best example that you would get like in ordinary life is people oftentimes say something like, you know, it's always in the last place you look. Well, of course it's in the last place you look. Who keeps looking once they've found something, right? It doesn't matter if it's the first place you look, it's always the last place you look because, uh, because it's, that's just the way it is. So, um, you know, that's, that's kind of one of those things It's a totality, it's always true. But in this case, you know, that relationship, it's P or if P then Q or if Q then P, one of those has to, that's, that will always via truth tables come up with a truth function that's true. And so that's called tautologous. Now, if you have something like um, uh, A horseshoe, B and Let's see, tilde tilde A wedge B. What you'll find is, is we can do this one. So we're gonna need how many lines? There's two letters, so you'll need four. True, true, false, false. And you have true, false, true, false. And A was T, T, F, F. So we go T, T, F, F and B is true, false, true, false. We're gonna be on our truth table by doing the tildes in front of a single letter. And then we're gonna do the stuff inside the parentheses. So false wedge true is true. False wedge false is false. True wedge true is true. And true wedge false is true. And then horseshoe, the only time it's going to be False is if you have a false antecedent, I'm sorry, a true antecedent and a false consequent. 
So it's true, false, true, true. And then what you're gonna do is before you do this, I'm sorry, I've crossed out the wrong one. Uh, let's just do this. Yeah. So we did that, true, wedge, true. Okay, so we now have true dot true is, I'm sorry, I forgot this tilde. True would become false, false would become true, true would become false, and true would become false. See, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself and I'm making the same mistake everybody else is. I'm not crossing stuff off and I'm not, uh, I'm not kind of paying attention. So you gotta make sure to do that. So true dot false is false. False dot true is false. False dot true or true dot false is false and true dot false is false. So we see that the main operator, everyone, it is always false. And what we do is we say that's self-contradictory. What happens here is we have made a statement that will always be false. And so we would classify it that way. Now, the reason why, and we will talk about this in the next part where we compare statements. What we find is we find that A horseshoe B means the same thing as tilde A wedge B when you compare statements. And so if I negate A horseshoe B, then that's like saying A horseshoe B or not A horseshoe B. And so that's like saying A and not A. And if A and not A, then A is true, it becomes false, false or tr true, false and true is false. And if you have false, this one is false, the tilde becomes true, false and true becomes false. It's a contradiction, right? It's self-contradictory because anytime they're the opposite. And this statement here, tilde, tilde A wedge B and A horseshoe B, those are the opposite of each other. And that's why uh, that, that is self-contradictory, is there is a contradiction. You are saying something is both true and not true in that statement. All right, um, I will make, I'll just do a separate video for comparing statements just for length.